Some people really don't pay attention to the stuff that I be saying. I've said this before on YouTube. I compared it to 100 proof Everclear liquor. Where with me, it's impossible for, for anybody. I'm going to just say my girlfriend currently to love me 100% because I don't show 100% of my personality to people. Unfortunately, I've had a history of people not being able to handle my personality. Therefore, I have to dumb my shit down. I have to water my shit down like an alcoholic drink. So how can you love me 100% when I'm only showing you 50% of my personality? And since Scorpios are so intense... Even 50% is too much for most people when it comes to me. There's so many people that try to dim my light. And they've been trying to do that long before I got into watching tarot and long before I've had multiple spiritual awakenings. That's always been the case. Mainly my mom. She'll say, oh, don't say that. You might hurt somebody's feelings. Or don't do that because you, you, you might break the law if you do that. Or don't, you know, it's all these rules that I don't care for, that I don't like which is why I'm about to relocate and move out of Michigan <laughs> far away from the rules and all the things that I don't like that go on here. That's been going on for over 10 years and I'm tired of it. I need to change a scenery. I need a different environment where I can reinvent myself, not around people that think they know me. And that's why I say it's also impossible for any of my enemies to all of a sudden become my friend. Because those are the people who take gossip and rumors about me and they run with that shit like it's a fucking relay race. Like they just got handed a baton. So if you really know me and you really fuck with me and you really love me, you wouldn't do that. So a lot of people expose themselves and they don't even know it. And niggas who I beef with, they'll get on Facebook and send me a friend request and like, man, we grown, man. We got kids, all that high school shit. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Nah, fuck that nigga. It can be bygones when your ass is gone, as in you not on this earth no more. Just because you leave Michigan, don't change the fact that I don't fucking like you. That you not talking shit behind my back. That you not plotting on against me. Trying to make things go bad for me. And especially now that they have kids, so you even going on into the next generation. You can't tell me you not going to tell your kids not to fuck with my kids. I have to protect mine before I even give birth to them. And niggas like you, no, nah, I don't fuck with niggas. Like, I don't fuck with fake niggas, man. That's why I don't agree with my tarot card readers when they talk about that, uh, pro pray for your enemies. No, nah, fuck that shit. I'm not pray. pray. I pray that they die. Pray that they don't exist anymore. I'm not praying for them. The fuck is you talking about, man? That's why I tell people don't get that peace, love, and light shit twisted, man. When I say I'm a spiritual warrior, apparently it means something different than when my tarot card readers say that shit. I mean, I'm ready to go to war with all the dark empaths, with all the fucking narcissists, with all the fucking energy vampires, with anybody who I deem as a motherfucking threat to the collective. So we ain't on the same page, which is why I encourage people come fuck with me if you don't fuck with the reader. It ain't to take people away from the reader. It's just they may not agree with everything that the reader is saying like me. <laughs> that's just one thing I don't agree with. So, you know, pick who you think is the best fit for you as a mentor, as a leader, who you resonate with. Now, they'll preach that who you resonate with shit, but then get mad when they come over here with me. Why? I'm your moderator. <laughs> you shouldn't look at it like we're two separate entities when I'm helping your channel grow. Besides that, it won't last long as far as me being your moderator, because please believe I've told plenty of them to unmod me. Unmod me if you if you going against me too. Let me get a whiff of that shit. And I'm not saying we have to agree with everything. We can agree to disagree, but that whole pray for your enemy shit, that's a hell nah. I don't want to see my enemies doing good like they don't want to see me doing good. That shit is mutual. 